they say you should never order spaghetti on a first date for obvious reasons, especially if you're wearing white. But I reckon if you have limited art knowledge, attempting to go to an art exhibition on a first date has to be on par. Both are terrifying scenarios. But art and art exhibitions, they're not that intimidating, are they? Well, let's try and break down this impenetrable world of mystery and fear. Let's have a bit of fun and get some hot tips from the staff of the National Maritime Museum here in Sydney. We're here at the museum's temporary exhibition space and I'm surrounded by over 170 artworks. Surprisingly, they're all about fish and fishing. Huh, makes perfect sense. First dates are always going to be uncomfortable, so my top tip would be um, to just follow the crowd and copy whatever they say. I would be really impressed if they knew a lot about the art. Um, I don't know much about art, so if someone was to take me and could explain a, like a painting or a picture. If you are here right now in this exhibition for fish, fish never travel alone and they attract other fish and they're always together. So I would tell the person that I'm bringing over here that I want to be with you like the fishes do. Well, I would break into French. Parce que tout simplement, le français est la langue la plus belle du monde entier. C'est la langue de la culture, de l'histoire, de la musique, wow. des beaux arts et bien sûr l'amour. And it really doesn't matter what you say if you no. say that, because you say it like that and it's, you had me at Franchon. Exactement. <laughs> okay, I got one. Um, I was approached several times by the museum to put my work on display here, but clearly it was a conflict of interest. I'll probably take her over to the Arthur Boyd here and say, well, it's good, but I don't like it quite as much as the one I have at home. Well, I'm into digital media, so I'd go straight to the artworks that plug in, like this one here, and I'd start talking resolution and pixel density and frame rates. I want to have fun at an art gallery. I want to know what the artwork is making people feel, not all the facts they know about the artwork. Oh, well, I'd encourage, uh, encourage you to go and have a look at the still lifes because uh, there's nothing more inspirational as a lead into a good dinner than a, than a nice juicy still life. Well, I'd naturally go straight for the artwork behind the Perspex glass because that's going to be the most expensive, isn't it? And if I'd be really into this guy, I would try to do some research before, Google the exhibition or buy the exhibition program to be familiar with it. So would you, um, would you actually look at the subject matter? Is that an insight into you? Because cats eat fish, so are you going to eat your first day? <laughs> well, I hope you did get something out of that. It's very difficult to pick a top five in that lot. but. At the end of the day, art is so subjective that if you say what you believe, then you'll always be right. Whether your date likes that or not, well, that's another story. Look forward to seeing you soon here at the Maritime Museum.